I'm a dragon lord. Tenka Sose Lance no Makuake. Sudeni Kakuchi de Senkawa. Ye Saika no Makio Koritsarimas. Also resin you, Narabawa. Lansin Kokoni Kiwa Marelli. こののが気まぐれ一つで手助けこの世を塗り替えられる。いただきってのはさぞや遊びは終わりだ。俺は今から王を名乗る。何者にも脅かされねえ。唯一の座へと舞い上がり。マサムネ様。独眼竜王、伊達政宗。これがこの俺の産声だ。
and hello, everybody! Hey, Shin Loki! I hope you like how things are looking. Uh, I feel like they look way better uh, since I've done a couple of changes. So, first of all, I, <laughs> I was looking for an actual diffuser for my light, but instead I just took an old white t-shirt that no longer fits, uh, threw that on, and it looks way better. Plus, uh, I've adjusted the exposure on this camera. So now, when it gets super white on the screen, it's not going to look like I'm just, like, shining the light of a thousand suns onto the camera. Uh, cause I am very white, uh, and I reflect. I, I am reflective. I'm high visibility. <laughs> oh. Hello, Zeriel. Welcome to the chat. This is the first time I'm playing Sengoku Basada 4. Let alone, uh, Sumeragi. Uh, but technically, technically I did play, like, two, maybe three stages, um, just kind of, like, trying to get into it, and I was like, mm. <laughs> I don't know, I, I feel like I should save this for, for a live stream. I feel like this is live stream material. Uh, also, hello, Fire Moth. I am also ready. I have been waiting so freaking long to play this. Um, we're going to play through at least one story. I don't know how long the stories take in this game, but uh, we're going to play through at least Masamune's, because he's on the thumbnail. Might as well uh, stick to the theme. And uh, I bought this recently. Uh... Ooh, with the uh, the diffuser, it's easier to show things. But yeah, I got this uh, nice little Nendroid of our boy. The only thing is, uh, so this was only forty dollars, which was the whole reason why I was like, "Fuck yeah, I'm gonna buy this." Um, so at the pawn shop that I got this at, yeah, I got it at a pawn shop. Uh, but at the pawn shop I got this at, they had a Yukimura Figma figure. Uh, and I think it was like 90 bucks. Um, and for the longest time, I was like, well, I, I'll hold off. I don't want to just drop this much money on a figure right now. Uh, but there was, by the time I had the money and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to buy it. Uh, it sold, unfortunately. So, yeah, um. I missed out on that, and then I saw this for $40, and I picked that up right away. Uh, I went to go set it up on the shelf, because I wanted it displayed, and uh, unfortunately, the head is broken. You can't tell in the packaging, but the head is broken. Like, there's a little pin thing that you put the head into the body, and... It's broken on the inside, and I can't get it out, so none of the other faces I can use. I, that that figure cannot be on display other than in the box, um, which, in the box, it looks fine. Um, and I went and looked it up online. The, the, fig, the figure itself is selling for like $90 to $120, so I paid $40 bucks for it. I'm, I'm fine just displaying it in the box. Uh, it's disappointing. But whatever, you know? Finish off my smoothie. And if you didn't notice, the collection of frogs has grown. I guess I'll do this. Uh, Chelsea got a table at the, the Pride Market for our Pride Parade this year. So that's going to be exciting. I, I, I imagine all of those frogs are going to sell out because uh, there was at least that many frogs. Oh, there's a new one. <laughs> Another one. Look at it. Look at its cute little squishy. <laughs> but like that many frogs that's over there. I think there's like a dozen to 15 frogs. That many frogs sold out at IEX in like the first hour and a half to two hours. So... It's definitely going to sell at, uh, at Pride, but, um, why don't we just, uh, get into it? 
I've already got Masamune started. Um, mostly because as I was sitting at the character select screen, uh, unfortunately, there's music there that is very likely copywritten. So it is very likely this stream will get copyright claimed. Um, but at least the, the section with the the copywritten material can easily be stripped out. Now, the other thing is, um, just to let you guys know, my monitor is still not letting me turn down the headphones, so uh, if it sounds like I'm shouting, it's probably because I am. But, uh... Yeah, let's let's see. You're... How do I can I no, that's not that's not it. Uh How do I One of these buttons takes me to Oh wait, no, I think once I get into it, yeah, this is where I can go to set up my characters. There we go, this is what I was looking for. Because I actually own the uh, the Anniversary Edition. Uh, we'll go into the, the big... So this is the Senko Kapasana 4 Sumidagi Anniversary Edition. And it comes with most, if not all, of the DLC... So yeah, we're going to see what we can do with... Uh, I don't think we can... I don't think we can do anything with the sword. Um, costume that I can kind of do something with. Let's see, what's this? That one does look cool. Hello, Mr. Hobbit! Shouting is all part of the Basara spirit, yes. Okay, I actually like that a lot. Very reminiscent of uh, the uh, Sanada Yukimura Den kind of look. Of course, the Dante. And then I actually like that. Is that from something? I feel like that's from something. Um, let's go with Dante for now. And then what do we got for Kojiro? Okay, I I like that. You know what? Just for the sake of uh all of the keeping a the theme, I guess. Um, oh, can I change my... Is that what this is? I change my partner? See, yeah, I, I played one stage as Keiji. And I think I played a stage as... No, I don't think I played as Naotora. Um, this girl? Yeah, I played as this girl. So I played like two, maybe three stages. But I am going to keep uh, my partner the same. I have no idea what any of this is. Uh, I'm not going to try that. Let's just get into it. For all the Muso genre. I feel like I need more time with uh, Sengoku Basada. Like, the only time that I've spent with uh, the Basada series is um, Devil Kings and 3. Uh, now, are there any other... Ooh, yes. 
I'm going to want to grab as many of these as I can until I figure out, you know, what the money is used for. Eventually, he will see. Cams? Oh, my God. <laughs> Thanks, Fire Moth. <laughs> and I've only had one sip so far, so that's fun. The cutscenes look so good. Unfortunately, there's no lock-on. You know, there's some days where I, I don't mind the fact that I'm not a famous streamer because that would be clipped in a fucking second. I have no idea what you're saying. So this is another reason why uh, I've not really gotten into Sengoku Basara. Uh, oh, it sounded like there was something there. But the language barrier is one thing that has hindered me from getting into the Sengoku Basada series. As much as I do love uh, Sengoku Basada 3 and Devil Kings, uh, I am greatly hindered by the, the language barrier. And I've been tempted to learn Japanese. Um, you know what? Let's go... Can we go down here? Whoa. Hey, now. Whoa. There we go. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa. I also really like this Dante costume. I, I think there are still some missed opportunities with certain characters, like... Hadakatsu should have had a Nemesis costume. Like, that that was a must. And somebody should have had a, a, a Samonosuke costume as well. Oh my god, they need to port this. Like, I would absolutely love having this in English. Also, for those wondering, I am playing this on PS5. Um, so I don't know, as far as performance goes, how well this performs when comparing to uh, PS4. It might just be the difference between, like, 30 frames versus 60 frames. Try shooting Hell Dragon in mid-air. That's, uh... Whoa. This. Oh. 
There we go. We'll do one of these. God, I love the Dante outfit like this. Oh, shit. Whoa. Now, what button... ...switches my... ...special move? God, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so R3 switches my character. You know how it smelled smoky what? outside? What? You know how it's smoky and hazy outside? Yep. That's smoke from the forest fires in Quebec. Oh, jeez. We just got an air quality statement. Oh, shit. Well, I don't know if you heard that, but, um, looks like, uh, okay, L1 and square, I think, changes it. No. Uh, but yeah, uh, the smoke from the wildfires in Quebec are kind of... Making their way here. Hey, I'm having a good weekend. I just finished my mini review of uh, Ruby Arrowfell. I need to fucking catch up on that show. There we go. I think that's what I needed to do for um, Toshie over here. You can add shortcuts to D-pad if you're not comfortable with character switch in options. Oh, but I, I think there's a, a button to switch which... Uh, special move is set to R2. Because right now I have it set as Hell Dragon, but some sort of button combination changes that. Okay, it's not any of the D-pad, because that just controls me. Weiss all the way? Oh man, I don't know who's my favorite. I puns. Try R1 and R2, or L1 and R2? Oh, it is L1 and R2. I knew it was L1 and something. Because it's the same, uh, it's practically the same controls as uh, Sanada Yukimuraden. So, I, I knew it had to be one of those. So... 
that just takes these out. Dang. I think I do like War Dance best. I do also like how Masamune is voiced by the same guy that does, uh... Shahodun in Japanese. Whoa. Okay. I'll try to figure that uh, D-pad thing out. So I feel like a D-pad, uh, like just hitting left or right would be better to change the... Um, the special. And how do I activate my... That's how I do it. God, I remember doing War Dance all of the frickin' time in Devil Kings. You know what? Let's switch it over. The game looks so fucking beautiful. It just takes me back to the start. L1 and L2 doesn't really do anything for me. Oh yeah, and Zoro. I want to try to take out all of the officers and capture all of the bases. There's no time limit, is there? That 12-17, is that how long I've been in the stage? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna guess there is, like, a limit to how long you can be in a stage. Oh, no time limit. Perfect. That means I can take as long as I fucking want.
Boom. <laughs> ah, his moveset is so good. Let's switch it up. I, I haven't tried out all of his stuff. Ooh. <laughs> that was good. And there was a blue box up here. And grab that. Perfect. Got this a couple of other ones off eBay, fairly cheap. I have no idea PS3 and 4 could play Japanese. Yeah! Um, I am so glad they got rid of region locking because, like, it's so stupid, especially nowadays where it, it doesn't feel like we have as much, um, as much of a border between us all. Like, any game that gets... that comes out in Japan, we know about it. Like, the instant that it's announced. Like, there's not too many uh, Japanese games that make it past the fandom. And there will always be people wanting to import. So the fact that um, region lockings are no longer a thing... Is just so good. Um, I actually got my first uh, Japanese PS5 game not too long ago. I'll show it off when we get uh, done of this stage. As long as I remember. But yeah, I am so happy. I've been trying to, like slowly collect import stuff. Like, especially if I see one in the wild. Um, if I'm going online, usually it needs to be something specific. So, like, uh, this, uh, any of the Musou games. But, uh, I was able to pick up a Japanese PS2 on Kijiji. And, or no, wait, it was Facebook Marketplace. I just happened to look on Facebook uh, when I got a bonus from work. And it was a, a special PS2, and it came with all of the Crash games. Or at least the f four Crash games? I know it came with Crash uh, 1 through 3. I can't remember if it came with, uh, the fourth one. Now can I... No, it's over. I don't think I can get any kills from here. Follow me. Do you use, like, Yahoo auctions, Graham, or do you use, like, eBay auctions? Hmm. Ma yeah, and obviously we're gonna skip most of the story conversations, because... I can't understand any of it. Alright, well, I was going to show you. 
This is this is actually like really cool. The very first I don't remember if I showed this off in my Xenoblade Chronicles X episode 3 live stream, but I recently made an order through Play Asia and I got uh Samur uh Sengoku Muso Chronicle 3. This is sealed, by the way. Brand new. I didn't know that this was sealed. This was like 15 bucks. I got it because I have the English version on Vita. And I was like, well, it, it'd be nice to have a physical copy because I have a little art easel that I put on my desk. It says now playing on it. And that's what I put what I'm playing. But this is the first Japanese import PS5 that... I've ever got. Um, it's Utuari Rumino Zan 2. We have the first one, because that was released in English, but this was never released in English, and as far as I can tell, there's no plans to release it in English. But it's a Muso like game, so expect this and many others in Warriors Clones Part 2, which. Um, yeah, I've just I've already started the script on it. Um, I haven't like gotten too deep into it because I still need to do the uh, move set changes that was voted for by the Patreon. Uh, I also got Gintama Rumble finally in English, so I'm gonna be doing a PVC mini on that. I still need to do the import report on uh, Dynasty Warriors Five Special. But this was the other cool thing. This was the Japanese Sakura PS2. Like, look at look at how beautiful that is. Like th this this stays on display. That that's like the best find that I've ever had on like Facebook Marketplace or any sort of like private selling site like Kijiji, Craigslist, whatever. Because at the time when I got that, uh, my PC wasn't strong enough to do emulation. So anything that I wanted to play in Japanese, I had to wait until I grabbed one of these. Yahoo auctions or Rakuten shops. I'll have to check them out. I I know there's a Japanese uh, proxy site that a lot of people kind of promote and is apparently really good. So um, I'm gonna guess that the red is one path and the blue is another path and the black is another path i'm gonna guess um yeah we'll go with this and we're gonna change our costume again uh can i do anything with this oh yeah i think that's good All I know is I did somehow make myself stronger. Can I change any of these? This just changes the order that they're in. Recently got two PS3 DualShock charging docks, PS3 move for $20? Dang. One of the consoles that I've been wanting to get is... Um, there's this, uh, you know what? I, I think I'm gonna do this. Or do I want this outfit? Or go classic. Uh, let's do this one for now. But, um, what was I going to say? 
Oh my god, what was I gonna say? The ADHD just hit me fucking hard. Come with me. Oh well. It's gone. <laughs> oh! Uh, one of the consoles that has been, like, a dream console for me is, um, there's a red Vita. And red's my favorite color. I loved the Vita. So, I kind of want that red Vita. There's also a Tolkien uh, special Vita that I want to get. Oh, it's actually, uh... Shin Loki, the, the PS3 is actually, like, a pink-ish. So it, it's like Sakura pink, but it's like, uh, a very shiny, very, very shiny pink. It looks better in person, uh, but if you look up Sakura PS2, you'll be able to find it. It looks so good. I wonder if this is going to be one of those, like, choose a side kind of things, or do I have to kill both of them? God, it makes me so happy that there's... I was able to get this with all the DLC costumes so I don't have to deal with... Uh, buying all of the DLC for a Japanese game. Because that's one thing that I don't want to get into, is buying import DLC. Like, if there's, um... If there's a digital-only game, that would probably be the, the only time that I feel like actually buying, um anything digital that's not in my native language. Or at least in a language that I understand. Been playing Samurai Heroes and Sengo Basada 2 on the Wii and I'm surprised how well they run perfectly compared to Samurai Warriors 3. I know! Uh, I... I did emulate uh, Sengoku Basa 3 not too long after the Warriors Clones video. Because I, I do have the, the Dolphin um, emulator. Okay, come on. I need more people to kill with while I've got this hammer thing. Damn. But I was surprised at how well it looked and ran on the Wii. I haven't played it on a, an actual Wii, so that that is one thing. Uh, I don't own it on Wii. Even though I would love to. Similar to me buying every single Warriors game, I would absolutely buy every single boss that game. But right now, um, I'm doing my best to save my money, because I definitely want to upgrade. I want to upgrade my PC, I want to upgrade my uh, recording setup so that I have a uh, 4K TV. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> you are totally obsessive with Dynasty Warriors, like you said on TikTok. No, no. Absolutely not. Like, the fact that I own several copies of 
uh, Dynasty Warriors Strike Force, even though I'm not like the biggest fan of Strike Force. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was fun. I know someone said there was something to change your character at some point. I didn't know it would be that awesome. Four player online co op? You mean in uh, Strike Force? It's honestly a lot of fun. It's the only time I've had fun with Strike Force, if I'm going to be honest. I've been wanting to get back into Strike Force at some point. The only thing is, like, all of my friends that would play it are in different time zones or are also content creators working on shit, so. Trying to get schedules aligned and stuff, it's tough. Ooh, we get another one of these. <laughs> I love it. I love the way he runs. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Mash square while jumping. Oh, with the the bomb guy. <laughs> Do it. I'm a bad influence. <laughs> oh, another one. Give me something good. Ooh. Dang. Okay, I see why a lot of people say that Sumadagi is so fucking good. There's just so much to do in a stage. Yeah, if I get the the bomb guy next time, I'll do a 
Wait till you try Kambe Kuroda's stage. Oh, I know Kambe's stage in Basara 3 was a lot of fun. Another one. Damn, this, this is just plain fun, guys. I'm enjoying myself. I hope you are too. It's a rail shooter? What? lady welcome hope you're doing well so each character has hidden mechanics which I accidentally found playing Hideyoshi yeah I've heard that like a lot of characters have this very uh, unique part to their uh, gameplay. Some characters are more nuanced than others, like uh, KG, I forget what his is. I used to remember because um, I, I learned about it while I was um, while I was playing a while I was doing a live stream. I'm gonna guess I need to kill this guy. How's Boss of the Four treating you? I'm fucking loving it, man. I played probably two stages of this uh, before going live. First of all, just to make sure that the game worked. Because I bought it used off of eBay. But also, just to see how it looks, how it plays, just in general. But... This is the first time I'm actually playing, like, full-on stages like this. And it's so good. KG has strings that can connect continuously when times correctly. Yeah, I, I had some characters kind of memorize what their unique thing was. Um, back when I was trying to unlock Nobunaga in Sengoku Basara 3. Which, that is a, that is a process that needs to be included in a future Daily Grind episode. Also, I'm really looking forward to a lot of the shows that I started up but didn't really uh, explore as much as I probably could have. Things like Import Report, um expanded and now uh, I'm really looking forward to doing more with um, daily grind <laughs> yes
God, and I just deal damage just by walking. Hey, thanks, Shin Loki. I really can't wait to do more stuff with it because, like, I have I have a vision of what it's going to be, and like, I just want this nice, entertaining kind of guide video where it's not just me playing the game and showing you how to unlock weapons. It's me kind of making these scripted jokes and that sort of stuff and still like bringing the same sort of energy that a lot of my videos have. And then like Import Report, I have so many games to talk about. I've already like created thumbnails because I know I'm going to make them. Like uh, Sengoku Muso 3 Z. I want to do that. I want to do uh, Muso Orochi Z. I want to do all of these games that we never got. Oh god, all the... What does that mean? Uh, what is this? I was like, what the fuck is going on? Make sure in Sego Boss of the Three you get Hanzo Hattori and Hotaro playthrough. It's gonna be super useful for Grind. I do have Hanzo already, and I know exactly what you mean, because I was using him for grinding. I forget what he does, but I remember, like, using him whenever I didn't have another bodyguard to max out. Zombie? <laughs> Oh, I forgot to check to see if Kojiro had, uh, a different weapon. He's still using his default. So sad there's no English version. No, don't get me started, man. I feel like that's going to be the majority of me when I review any of these games, is the fact that we never got... Oh, come on. But a lot of what I'm going to be saying in those uh, import reports are going to be like, Fuck! We never got this in English! How stupid is Capcom? Oh, excuse me. Because if, uh... If fucking... Koi Tecmo can give us Japanese voices only in uh, Samurai Warriors games just to cut costs. If Capcom is worried about costs, they could absolutely do that as well. Like, I would take just English text just to get these games and be able to experience them in their full glory. bit nervous about Muso content because I just don't feel as knowledgeable as others about it, and yet I want to spread the Muso. Hey, do it up. Like, everybody's got to start somewhere. So, like, it doesn't matter how knowledgeable you are. It, it just depends on, like, what type of video you're doing. If the video you're doing is, uh, 
like requires that knowledge, yeah, it's probably a good idea to um like study up on it. Like if you're doing lore videos or shit like that. But if you're doing a review, you don't need to be a fan of the game to do a review cuz all you need to do is talk about it from your own personal feelings from where like what type of gamer you are. I am absolutely going to encourage anybody to do reviews of these games because, goddamn, they're too good not to have more people talking about them. Hey, Profar! Thanks for coming out. I am really enjoying this. And like, this absolutely feels like what I wanted Sengoku Basa 3 to be. Oh, happy birthday! Chat, spam happy birthday for Profar. Give the man some love. Give me that gold, give me that gold. No, fuck you. Oh man, yeah, like, absolutely. We need all of the Basara to come to the West already. It's beyond time. Like, could you imagine if they did uh, Sengoku Basara 2 and 3, or 1 and 2, with this, uh, this engine? That would be perfect. I was gonna say, there has to be a taunt. Good, good. Yes! God! We need taunts. More taunts. When do you feel is uh, the best time to start a review of a Dynasty Warriors game or Samurai Warriors game? Play through every character, one of each dynasty. And... It depends. Um, like, personally, when, what I do is when I do my full reviews, I, I at least play through all of the story, at least, and a little bit of, like, some of the side content. Um, but, uh, it really depends on what feels right to you. Um, when I did my review of, uh, Samurai Warriors Spirit of Sonata, I don't think I had finished it. Um, but if I were to do a, a review of any game now, like when I do a full review, I, I, I want to at least have finished the main story. Um, and then I, I, that's the whole reason why I created, uh, the mini reviews was so that I could do these kind of first impressions, kind of, I, I'm not like at the halfway point yet, kind of, uh, review, but, uh, yeah, like it, it's a tough thing because it's really all about what feels good for you and yeah, just I would encourage you to kind of think about what you want out of the video. Because I also haven't finished all of the stories in Samurai Warriors 3. But I feel like my review touched on most of the things that I wanted to touch on. Yeah, let's go with this. Um, Kojiro, do you... Okay, you do have... Go with that. Uh. Oh, what's this? Oh. 
I have no idea what any of this is, but I'm gonna guess that's fire. That looks like the character for fire. Watched all of your reviews and they were just so entertaining. Oh, thanks. If you play a lot of DMC, you'll notice some of the moves in Basada were taken. Yeah. Like, I love um, the the sting. Um, fucking Masamune's sting move. Uh, now, costumes. Uh, this one. We'll go back to normal. Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's do a stage with the default costumes. What do we got for weapons? Worse, worse. Okay. I would like to know what this is. Oh, is this just, like, buying things? What's this? Is this... Do I have enough money for this? Where's my money? I have 41. You know what? Let's buy this. What is this? Oh, it's just another weapon. Okay, fuck. Uh, <laughs> probably shouldn't have got that. Uh, what else, dude? It's got 400 of whatever that stat is. Oh, that's DLC. Um, yeah, let's just jump into it. Come with me. Oh, yeah. Mitsunari and Virgil's outfit is just so good. I love these three-way battles. Oh, well, thanks for dropping by just to say hi, Rosie. I hope you have fun, too, whatever you're doing. Like Devil Kings for the first time days ago, and damn, that's some shitty combat. It's okay. Oh man, the anime is like what I live for. I recently moved my uh, Dragon Ball Z collection all together because it was kind of all like mixed into whatever it was with like all the DVDs were with my... Okay, I was going to be like, don't fucking do this to me. Oh, jumping. 
Do you also favor Devil Kings over the original Basara? I kind of feel it like it a bit for more for few comp. Uh, when I compare Sengoku Basara 1 to Devil Kings, I do prefer Devil Kings overall. Uh, just because I like what they did with the... Um, I like what it did with uh, the the priming. I feel like there's more they probably could have done with it, and I don't know what that is, but it does feel like something's missing. And maybe it's just the fact that, you know, the combat in general wasn't as fleshed out as something like this. This is just so much fun. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I would probably say that I prefer Devil Kings in the combat department more. Oh, hello. Priming return in Basara 2 heroes, though. Only on certain skills. Oh. Oh, maybe that... Mm, I don't know if that would be the thing that I would want changed. I guess the... What I would do differently maybe for priming is have the triangle skill that primes enemies be, like, its own combo. Which was one thing that, uh... I will admit... Like, for some characters it was great. Like, with, uh... Masamune or Azure Dragon. Having that secondary combo was a great way to prime enemies, but with other characters, um, it did make it a little bit more weird, because it was just a special attack, not necessarily a combo. And I think if the, the prime combo didn't deal as much damage, but primed them, and then you could sw switch back and forth between your normal combo and your prime combo. I think that would be a, a great combat experience. But where they took Sengoku Basara, I feel like was the uh, the right direction. Like priming, like I said, it it's kind of this uh, fine art to really get right. Oh my god, I would love a Son Goku Basara. I think that would be fantastic. Oh, I remember the like playing so many stages just to get the the best weapons and items in Devil Kings. What is priming? Oh, that's, uh, in Devil Kings, if you press, like, your triangle attack turns their health yellow instead of red, and essentially what that does is you deal more damage, and that's the only way you can build your Basara meter. So that was the only way to build up your special attack, was to prime them first, but it also helped with, like, uh enemy officers who were a little on the stronger side so you could prime them and deal a little bit more damage. I would always prime them right before using a Basara attack.
Prime also stuns enemies. I don't think it's stunned... Unless it's stunned the, uh... The troops, because I don't think it's stunned, uh... Enemy officers. I do like how there's more enemies in this game. Like, that was one of my biggest feedbacks of, uh... Sengoku Basada 1 through... Well, not really 1, but... 3 for sure. Um, but it always felt like... It was similar to... It was a similar issue to... Um, like... One Piece Pirate Warriors 1... Uh, Dynasty Warriors Gundam 3... Like, uh, with Pirate Warriors 1, Dynasty Warriors Gundam 3, and Sengoku Basa the 3, it felt like there was a lot of fighting going on inside bases, but not necessarily in between bases. Like, there was some, but it... The main focus was definitely to get you into a base to do all of your fighting. But with this, yeah, that's still a focus, but... There's still a lot of fighting going on outside of, uh, outside of the bases. Yeah, by having less enemies on screen, um... It does allow the the enemies to be a little bit more aggressive because if you have the enemy AI be more aggressive in a modern Warriors game, like, y you run the risk of having it be too hard because now you have so many enemies on screen trying to kill you. At least with this, it's a little bit more balanced uh, if you have it the AI a little bit more aggressive. Get back here. Thank you. I do still enjoy having the, the like, god mode of taking out 5,000 troops with just one swing. There is something that is quite satisfying about that. Koi constantly increases the number of enemies on screen and such. Yeah. That is an unfortunate thing in some ways, but again, like, I I do have a soft spot in my heart for the way that uh, those are done. Oh, come on, the fuck on. Oh, come the fuck on. Oh. There we go. That's getting them. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had a chance to play Fire Emblem Three Hopes? Found it tough. Uh, I wouldn't say it's tough. Um, I never felt like I was dying, but definitely felt like uh, my allies were dying more often than anything. 
And, like, another thing is, it, it plays very into the uh, weapon triangle of Fire Emblem, where your weapon really matters compared to the enemy's weapon. Like, there's special weaknesses and strengths and stuff, and so it's really important to make sure you pick the right weapon and the right characters and the right classes. Otherwise, you run the risk of dying really easily. Or really struggling, depending on what characters you take into battle. So, you really want to check uh, what characters you have versus... Uh, what all of the enemies in the stage are equipped with before you start the stage. Any interest in playing the PS3 English patch for Sengoku Basara? Uh... Yeah, once I get uh, an emulator running on this PC, I, I know I need to upgrade it first, because I've tried multiple times, and every time I've tried to get it running, um, like, it loads, and then it just stops. And that's with any any game. Okay, come on. Fuck! It's n there. Didn't mean to use essentially my rage. That's how the soldiers would match the officer you were fighting in Sengoku Basada 2. For example, Motochika Chosakabe soldiers look like pirates. Now they're just color swaps. That's one of the things I really liked about Devil Kings. Like, uh, apparently, from what I heard, they did, uh, change a couple of, uh, character models just to make it, you know, a little less Japanese for the, uh, oh my god, where is he? Did he disappear? They are all... Yeah, there are, there are Switch emulators. The moment a, a console is released nowadays, there's going to be an emulator for it. Um, I've heard really good things about the Switch emulator, and I kind of want to use it to get a lot of my gameplay footage, because, like, Switch games just don't look good. And I would love to be able to get really good looking gameplay footage of stuff like Fire Emblem Warriors and Three Hopes, Three Houses. Those games are so much fun and they look like they would look good if they were on modern consoles. You know what I would love? An N-Gage emulator. Because... There's a couple of N-Gage games that I own that would be so much fun to do a video on. And so stupid, too. English patch on emulator can cause some crashes on even high-end PCs. The patch is completely playable on modded PS3 hardware, though some of your UI menus have a bit glitches but gameplay it okay well then I would want to get a second PS3 mostly because I don't want to fuck with my own PS3 just for the sake of playing this game because I feel like every time I try to do something with technology I just fuck it up um my disk drive is not working. I think it's just a uh, a loose wire or something. I'm fairly certain it's just a loose wire because it was working before I switched up my RAM. 
and I'm pretty sure I fucked something up when I went in there. And then I went in today, because I was like, I don't want to fuck something up. I'm okay if I miss out on a stream. I'm not okay if I miss out on an upload. But, um... So I finished the Ruby... Uh, Aerofell review, mini review, and I was like, now is the time for me to actually check what what's going on with my disk drive and I look and the wires that are in there they're not loose they're fine maybe there's one wire that I don't know needs to be plugged in but isn't but anyways I couldn't get it to work and uh, I accidentally unplugged a wire from my hard drive and I was so scared that I wasn't going to be able to stream today, but I was able to figure out which wire it was. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this computer into the shop and just be like, hey, can you just fucking look at this? I'm too technologically illiterate to know what to fucking do with this thing. Please. I don't care if it costs me like 20, 30 bucks just to fix something like this. I don't want to mess around with this. Yeah, I just don't want to run the risk and, like, I don't know. I, I always prefer to have one console be uh, pure, <laughs> if you would say. Um, and then I'll have the one console be for uh, homebrewing, hacking, and that sort of stuff. Like, I've got my... I've got... We've got three um, Xbox 360s together. I have my original one from back in the day. Chelsea has their Elite, and then I've got my um, Japanese one. So, I would feel comfortable modding my old uh, North American Xbox 360, but I wouldn't feel comfortable modding the Elite, because that's Chelsea's, and I wouldn't feel comfortable modding the uh, Japanese one, because, like, that's my only way to play Dynasty Warriors 5 Special. It's hard to say what Dynasty Warriors 10 will be like. I feel like it's going to be more anime-y than Dynasty Warriors 9, which is something that I am very welcoming of. I loved the fact that... Oh? Oh. I loved the fact that um, Samurai Warriors 5 had that anime aesthetic. Like, it looked so good. And it felt so good. The only thing was... The, uh, the clones. That was probably the worst part about, uh... That was the worst part about... Samurai Warriors 5. Everything else I absolutely loved. Well, except for Citadel mode, but, like... I don't often care about, uh... The, um... I don't often care about the extra modes. Have you used Phantom Dry Phantom Dive yet? Uh, what's that? I might have. I don't fucking know. I'm honestly mashing buttons until I figure out what the moveset is, and then I... try to use that to the best of my capabilities. Let's hope they are not gonna chase the trend with their next game like they did with 9. I don't... I don't think they will. Um, I feel like they have learned their lesson with that. Uh, I know they have said that uh, they are not going to be making Dynasty Warriors 10 or any other Warriors game an open world game. 
if they do, they would explore doing an open world Three Kingdoms game as its own IP, which I am open to. I thought Wo Long might be that, but it was just a, a Neo style game. Now, where is this gonna take me? Is this gonna. Oh, that is not where I need to be. That is far from where I need to be. Is this something I can destroy? Do I get something from it? Ooh, yes. Thank you. Okay, that was fine. I'll accept being taken this far from the boss battle. Boss of the skills hold square and triangle. Ooh. Okay. Directional triangle L. Honestly, I do like the fact that like there's a a lot more to do with the combat in Sengoku Basara. I wish they would continue on with this. I feel like if they did localize more, like, they they dropped off of Sengoku Basara way too soon, um, I feel anyways. I feel like if they had made Basara 4, or at least um, Utage, I feel like if they made Sengoku Basara 3 Utage in the West, there would have been a good opportunity to have more sales then release Sengoku Basada 4, and then from there, decide if you want to do um, Sumidagi and Sanada Yukimura then. Well, maybe whoever he goes with now, uh, he'll actually bring that same sort of style to with him. Because, honestly, I don't care if it is Sengoku Basara. I just think that there needs to be more... Um, more competition for Koei Tecmo. Because the less competition there is, the less opportunity there is for improvement. Because, like, look at Sony. Sony is... They they know that they have enough of the uh, the market that they can just be dicks if they want to. So, like, they're doing whatever the fuck they want. At least with Nintendo, Nintendo is a, a little bit better to... Um, they're doing what they want, but they've never been as much of a dick as Sony is, at least from my experience. Sony is really... like... They know they're, like, the top dog. And they're walking like they are the top dog. Ooh! Trophy! No, t technically, Nintendo was winning the console wars because, like, the Switch is a fucking massive seller. But I don't think Sony's trying to fight against Nintendo. They're trying to fight against Xbox and PC. And that's partly the reason why, like, PS5 is so powerful. I'm pretty sure, technically speaking, the PS5 is a little bit more powerful than uh, 
the Xbox? Are these going to be... Are some of these going to be um, the final battles? I do kind of want to take this guy on. Now I got... Why is this so much weaker? Let's do 150. Let's do 160. I have no idea what any of these are, so I'm just gonna make it 160 across the board. I could just whip out my phone and go on to Google Translate, but where's the fun in that? Can't wait to play Super Mario RPG Remake. Oh my god, yes! The moment I saw that, I was like, okay, finally, some good fucking food. <laughs> I would appreciate that, Koyota. I have no idea what I'm doing. But why not? Let's make the golden sword the best one. Ooh, okay, that's pretty. Um Oh. Uh we'll do the same with Kochiro. He doesn't have as much. Um, okay, that's health. That's attack. And I'm going to guess this is defense. Yes. Okay, I want attack. No, I want health like that. Uh, we'll do 50, and then we'll do the rest in attack. There, that's good enough. Four has the best weapon system. You can make any weapon the best weapon. Ooh. I like that idea. Okay, this is still technically better. Yeah, we'll give it a good weapon. Uh, let's put you back in this one. I feel like those gold swords look great with this outfit. Maybe you should try at the moveset so so uh, moveset section. What's that? This thing here? I 
I forget, what does this do? Oh, that's just settings. I can figure all that shit out later. Isn't this Hisahide? Oh shit. I imagine this stage is going to open up a little bit more once uh, once I take out uh, Kotaro here. This can't be the whole stage. Oh my god, is it? Was that it? Follow me. Was that honestly it? Okay. Kojiro, Omae wa mukashi no koto. Yeah, one of the stages I did um, with Keiji was uh, a one-on-one -on -one fight. Alright, I'm not going to fuck around with uh, weapons and stuff. We're just going to jump into this. Oh, is this another one? Going for that speed run? I am not. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I don't understand Japanese. The duels keep finding it. Exactly. <laughs> The gold weapons are fucking cool, though. I gotta say. Big fan. Now what do I got? Oh, just the one. I forget who this character is. He's new to uh, Basura 4, though. Oh, 
Let's give, uh... Yeah, let's do this. Uh, what weapons do I got now? Oh, I still got 160 things to give to this one. Let's, uh... Thanks. Uh, oh wait, I can still got a 550? What? Okay, um, let's do everything at 200, I guess. Well, actually, let's do this at 500. I think that'll still be good enough to do 200 on everything. Yeah, and then we'll do 220 and then 250 here. There we go. Um, all right, and I have no idea what stats I want. I feel like this is an element. Uh, I'm gonna guess that this is, and, guess I can't power that up. Woohoohoohoohoo! Alright, this is, this is looking fucking beautiful. Oh, this is Ashikage? Max difficulty is a... Oh, God. Yeah, I feel like I need some sort of translator for... Um... For the weapon enhancer, cause damn, that that is a. It would be great if I could understand Japanese. All right, let's do this. What difficulty am I on? I have no idea. Normal, I'm guessing. Whatever is the default. Thanks, Coyota! Alright. Oh, I think I saw some gameplay, like when I was first looking up what gameplay of this would look like. I saw... I, I remember this corridor, kind of, uh, with Nobunaga. God, I am so excited to... I was gonna say, is that Shikonosuke? But no, I think... No, I know what Shikonosuke looks like. It is unfortunate you can't lock on to enemies in this. Oh, 
All right, thanks for coming out, Andrea. Have a good night. Or good morning, wherever you are. Merci. Yeah. I gotta show this to you guys. Look at this. Look at this. Chelsea just made me a latte. Look at that foam. Look at that. That is... That is sexy. Mmm. Oh, so good. You can lock on the camera? What? How? I have pressed literally every single button. That latte is five times the size of the one I had this <laughs> What? It is. It's so good, guys. It's in the settings? Oh, God. Yeah, translation guide is going to be so beautiful. Also, I like the dynamic camera that this has compared to Dynasty Warriors. Like, when you sprint... The, uh, the camera zooms in. When you do certain attacks, the camera zooms in. But it's not, like, obnoxious. Like other, uh, dynamic cameras. Like, the one they did in, um, Dynasty Warriors 9 is garbage. Guess I should finish. I understood that. Is this Knights of the Zodiac? <laughs> Just hearing him, Chota Mate Kudasai. There's this really good TikTok of um, a scene in. Tomo-chan is a girl, and it's just these two characters ripping on each other. And now, anytime I hear Chotomate Kudasai, that's all I hear, is that scene of like, Oh, I just love it when she says, Chotomate Kudasai! Oh, for fuck's sakes. I need to play Saint Seiya, god damn it. Maybe that's gonna be on the next uh poll. I know this will be. Sengoku Basa 2 heroes should absolutely be, because enough people have mentioned it, and I know Profar, who's been in the chat, um, that's one of his favorites, so. Why not? Just need to figure out a fourth game, and then we're golden. 
Maybe Dynasty Warriors 5 special because I still need to finish that. Ah, uh, Nagamasa. Who is that girl? Is she like this game's uh, Kochosho? Also, I like how Kushosho is a uh, priestess bodyguard in uh, Samurai Warriors 2. Ah, oh, thanks, Koyota. Maria? Oh, sweet. Oh, excuse me. The girl with weapon cloth thing, yeah, she's... Cause Shosho except her entire mechanic is pinball. Oh, God. I haven't been paying attention. Can this thing... Okay, it can sprint. Oh, I love this Oichi. I kind of like this Oichi more than uh, Nag Naginata Oichi. Oh, Nagamasa's sister. Okay. God, I love playing as this thing. It's so good. There we go. Oh, so satisfying, guys. I know this game is in Japanese, but I'm still having fun. Could I be having more fun if this was in English? 100%. Do I care? Yes, <laughs> I still care. Uh, nothing's going to make me any less angry about us getting no English release of this game until we get an English release of this game. Nothing's going to sate my anger. Sugu The Invincible Damn Yo, that was so good.
Now, if only, like, we could get this game in English, because goddamn, I feel like that is literally... The only thing I'm missing is understanding everything. The story, the, uh, the mechanics, the... Menus. She is slower, but I do like the the character, the the move set. I love it. And it's not to say that. Ooh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give me that money. But yeah, it's not like her Naginata move set is bad, but I just prefer this, like... I think this is more unique. Good timing with that gold rush. Yeah. Oh, that felt so good. Oh? What just happened? I have no idea what just happened. Hello, Maria. Oh, did you guys know that uh, Sengoku Basara's um, soundtracks were on Spotify? I don't think all of them are, but a good chunk of them are. I've got this uh, instrumental playlist that I use for editing and... Um, Okay, fuck off, please. I want to get all of these gold people. Fine, I'll take you out first. She's pretty, but would probably make my wallet drain in five seconds. There we go. Now I can go after the, the treasure guys. Come on. That would be cool. Could you imagine this game with the RE engine? God damn. Like, the game already looks so good as a PS4 game. I can't imagine what it would look like on the PS5 with all of that uh, power.
機械を授けてくださったのだ Thirty. Oh, there are beautiful. Thank you for incentivizing me to go off the beaten path. Um, just gonna set this. What you must know, Masamune Sama. Yeah, mother, the Ima Kono Hinomotunu, Hikario, Shina Tears in a Goman to you. Porekara Kono Kunio Severu Taminimo, whatever sweets any Awana can run it. Kojuro Kyokara Omega Oshu, he told her. I will see all of these countries. I will be able to let you go to the Oshu. You are the only one. It would be nice if I knew what they were saying. <laughs> but yeah, like anytime I get like copyright claimed, it's not like... It's not... Terrible. It's just that, like, I run the risk of the videos not being viewable anymore. And that seems to be the worst part about um, Sengoku Basara. Now, I could probably just mute the, the music and um, play Dynasty Warriors music because I know that won't get uh, copyright claimed and the uh the stage music won't get copyright claimed but the the music that uses actual artists will well, that's cool that they gave him actual dragon eyes. Awesome. So...
Okay. The one with the deer. Okay. Now Tora E is crazy fun. I played as her in um, uh, Sanada Yukimoto Den for like one stage. Because she has this awesome monster hunter um, outfit. Oh yeah, Basara Naotora is so much better than Muso Narotora. Thanks for sharing, Shinloki. Yeah, if you guys want to keep the conversation going, join the Discord server. Uh, it is very unlikely that we're going to be able to watch this again, because it is, it is very likely going to be hit with copyright claims, so... Um, go join the Discord server. Um... Ooh, this is tempting. But, um... Ah, oh, you know what? Fuck it. Ooh, I like that outfit. That is cool. Okay, that... That looks... That's probably the best bride outfit that I've seen in, like, an action game. Because it, it still has that, like... Short skirt for... A little bit more mobility. Like, it looks like a warrior would wear it. See, this is the outfit that I was talking about. That I had to play as her using this outfit. I like that sword because it reminds me a little bit of... Uh, Kenshin's sword, but it also kind of, like, with the hairstyle, the, the outfit kind of reminds me of Ginchio. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this outfit. I don't remember that being in, uh, in Sanada Yukimura then, because that one had, like, a lot of these DLC outfits, like this one. But yeah, let's keep you at that. Um, I don't think... Oh, I do have... Um... I guess we'll do that. Cool. That did strengthen things. Hidden mechanic character who has almost triple the move set because chaining, say, her triangle to her R1 literally changed. Okay, I'm excited. I'm probably not going to play completely through her, uh, story. Just cause I do need to work in the morning, but we'll play for a little bit. Oh, this this outfit is a Zisteria reference. Okay, I don't know what you're trying to say. 
Oh, that's where that outfit uh, from Masamune looked like. I thought it was, um, I thought it was uh, familiar. And then Magoichi is just dumb fun, like a stance character in a fighting game. Oh! Karmic Dragon, I am in the same boat. Uh, Chelsea bought the, uh, the collector's edition of Zysteria. And I don't even think we've opened... We've, we haven't opened Zysteria, have we? We have the box. I think it's... Okay, we're, we're gonna need to... Ugh. Where is it? Oh, it's... Yeah. I stand corrected. Now I sit corrected. Uh... <laughs> Uh, so it's, uh, Zillia that we have the collector's edition. I don't... Do we even have Zillia, then? Or Zysteria? I don't know, do we? <laughs> I just look over at this and I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not going through that. We got lots of Tales games. I haven't finished a single one of them. Still haven't played Zillia. Zillia is my favorite. I've only played uh, a little bit of Vesperia. Played a lot of uh, the PSP game, um, Tales of the World. Radiant Mythology, I think is what it's called. The one where you get to create your own character. There's also a Tales of um, Warrior style game that I'll have to eventually uh grab and do a review of. It was Japanese only, of course. Tales of Duel Braves? I thought it was uh, Tales of Twin something. I have played a little bit of it. Yeah, Twin Braves. What do these green boxes do? Japanese text appears on the screen, but I have no idea what the hell it's saying.
に任せたいところだけどね。俺たちと仕掛けをかけて。どうもくしろ。トモエ御前の再来とは。この私。Tales of the Heroes, Twin Braves, yeah. There we go. Wait, is Sengoku Basara in Melty Blood? Is that what you mean by SB? Because I know there was a Sengoku Basara Cross, which was a fighting game by Arc System. Hey, absolutely loving playing as Naotora. Hey, buddies! Let me give you a taste of your own medicine! Huh? What do you think of that? <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that big bomb. I also haven't done a Muso with this guy. God damn. Oh my god. If Senko Kubasara is in Melty Blood, I'm gonna have to get it. <laughs> the characters you can change into through the roulette definitely like have some devastating basara attacks my switch character is r3 for some reason So boxes, the red boxes usually contain healing stuff, blue boxes contain money and craft, the green boxes with the twist are part of some in-game collecting thing. Okay, well, I was reading that while I was trying to run. There was one that I saw off in the distance, I don't need it, fuck it, I don't care. It is honestly really cool to play as uh, Maguichi with the, the Claire. It is Claire, right? Oh, 
I did buy Resident Evil uh, 2 and 3 on PS5. So maybe once I finish... Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, that'll be one of the games that I will potentially play. I'm thinking about doing something similar to what I do with uh, Sunday streams where I will um, I'll do a poll to decide what I'm going to play next. But Tuesdays are supposed to be whatever really I want to stream. So I haven't decided yet uh, if I'm going to do a, a poll or if I'm just going to do whatever feels right. I just know that once I'm done of Xenoblade Chronicles X, I'm going to be playing um, like just some random games that are not quite as uh, time consuming. Maybe I'll play a couple indie games. I've been meaning to play Spiritfarer for a while now. God, I'm loving her move set. You just reminded me I was doing last summer. I still gotta beat the game. Get so lost in exploring. Dude, I know. Um, what I've been doing with uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X is I've been playing a little bit on my own just to do some grinding, so that's my exploration time. And then... The live streams are story time. So I focus on the main story or um, any sort of uh, side quests that I need to do. So if you're interested, come join me every Tuesday. Same time as the Sunday streams. So, every Tuesday at uh, 7 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, I have been playing Xenoblade Chronicles X lately. I'm three episodes in to the live stream, and you can check out the VODs. There is a playlist on the channel. New game who dis? <laughs> Damn, that did a lot of damage. I've been wanting to get into the Xenoblade Chronicles series. Um, I've played a little bit of 1 and 2. And so... Like, I, I definitely want to use the Tuesday streams to play through a bunch of JRPGs that I've been meaning to play through. And... Uh, so... I'm thinking after I play Xenoblade Chronicles X, definitely play through like a couple of indie games that are only take like one or two live streams to play through. Uh, maybe some uh, Musou stories and stuff like that. And then jump back into like a JRPG open world kind of game that's going to take me multiple streams to get through. 
The whole idea is Tuesdays, I want to be spent finishing games. So, like, there's a lot of games that I really want to play through. Oh god. Boom. Done. And is that the only blue box in this area? Okay. I was like, oh my god, she puts her weapon away when you uh, taunt. Oh, she can break boxes just by running into them? Have you used or encountered Oichi yet? I have. I have. I used her in uh, Sengoku Basada 2 and 3. Not in this live stream, but I did run into her while playing through Masamune's story. Now, I think what I am going to do, I am going to switch who my uh, sidekick is. I'll, I'll switch my sidekick to uh, Oichi just for you. Only some characters are able to... By dashing, now Tora is one of them. Nice. I kind of want to do that... Uh... Yeah, fuck it. We're going to do this one. Um, How do I switch? Is it this one? Yes. Okay. Uh... Where is... There she is. Oh no, wait, this is leveling up. No. How do I switch characters? I did it. Okay, this is where I. There we go. Uh, that's the only weapon I've got. I don't think I have any upgrades. Oh, 700. Um. Let's at least make everything a hundred, and then we'll make, uh... We'll make health, like... 300, maybe? And then, yeah, we'll do... 3, 30, and 20. There we go. And what outfits do I have for you? It's just the two? Oh, that does look nice. 
I think the Switch character screen was on the horse. Okay. No worries. I'm used to it. <laughs> There's always going to be a little bit of a delay. <laughs> Weaponize her trauma. <laughs> Alright, now what outfit do I want for you? Do I want the... Monster Hunter... You know what? I've played as the Monster Hunter outfit, so I'm going to use this one. Um, this doesn't have any, so, I guess I'm fucked. Uh, I didn't get any weapons last time. I did like her Basura 2 out alternate outfit. Does the deer just speak in emojis? Because that would be hilarious. And I like how she sprints just by her, essentially her weapon carrying her. <laughs> Oh god. Oichi's dead? Oh, not dead. Well, she's dead now. Oh god. Oh god. There we go. Did I get any... Ooh, I did get weapons from that. I got gold weapons! Ooh. I don't think they're gonna be anything special, though. I think I've been going down the black path? Um, yeah, let's go with this one. Alright, um, we only have 30. So let's, uh... Yeah, let's max out health with this. Oh... Are the, uh, the weapon increases, um, specific to the characters? Is that, this is not story mode? Oh, no. Okay, what is story mode, then? Is this story mode, then? Uh...
technically it's a mix of both. This is... So, I definitely have more to, like, dig in through. Okay, this is, uh... Oh, I was in free- or, I was in story mode. So what is this? I'm gonna guess that's continue. Yeah, this this just takes me back to where I was. When you select a character, there are two options. The first is conquest and the second is story. Oh. Okay, well, then you know what? Let's play through Keiji's story. Or, you know what? So right here, this is story mode. Is that what I'm... So is this option the story mode? Because I'm kind of uh, tempted to either play through Nobunaga's story or Keiji's story. Okay, uh, I'm going to play through Nobunaga's. Okay, if this is story... Okay, I'm gonna skip these sort of cutscenes, or these sort of conversations. Make me very confused later? Oh no. It's too late, Rosie. Uh, nah, it's not too late. Fine, I'll play through Keiji's story. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. <laughs> oh, one note about Basara is that there's a lot of love for the voice actors, so there's audio dialogues between characters can all be replayed in the horse menu. Oh, okay. I'm just going to skip these because... I don't understand Japanese, so there's no point in me trying to, like, okay, um, do I have any weapons? Because I know I played as KG at one point. Oh, excuse me. 
I am going to change my partner. Who else do I want to play as? Oh, excuse me. I did want to play as uh, Nobunaga, so let's do that. And what outfits do I have? Oh, is it just these? The Chris Redfield. I do like this outfit, though. Uh, let's go with the classic. And what about... Oh, you only have one other... Uh, let's go with classic, yeah. Um, I guess this is it for setup. He's always depicted as 100% evil, even though he was trying to unite Japan. That's what I enjoyed about uh, Samurai Warriors 5. It wasn't just Nobunaga is bad for being bad, for being the king of demons. It was like, he was a much more dynamic character. You can get another outfit in the roulette shop. Okay, I'll try that out. Remind me, Koyota. Because I love cosmetics. Remind me about the... Uh, the other one after this. Oh god. Take out this guy. Try to time it at the end of the stage. <laughs> Well, I think that's it, isn't it? Oh god. Little monkey guy! Has a very over-the-top ethereal outfit in the L1 roulette shop. Alright, well let's uh let's check that out. Oh, I've seen this outfit. Uh this one is in um Sanada Yuki Moroden. So I am tempted to get this one. Oh, can I see all of the outfits here? They're the purple. Ooh! How come I didn't see Masamune without his helmet before? Masamune with glasses. Good. Alright. <laughs> okay, I like that outfit for Naotora. That Shigenosuke outfit feels like the Samurai Warriors 5 outfit. I actually like that one. Um, I feel like I'll... Leopard print for Oichi. <laughs> okay, that one is great. <laughs> is that like a Santa outfit?
old school tanned uh, Toshie Matsu. Yeah, I think a lot of these costumes were in um, Sana Yukimura then. How much gold do I have? Oh, this isn't gold. Shit. I was gonna just start buying them all. Probably on the anime where you see Helmetless Masamune, Shikinosuke is based on Amago Haruhisa's colors in... Okay. You know, one cool thing about things that I have in my collection. Um, I'll just grab it. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, Sentai Filmworks, they do a bunch of anime, Blu-ray stuff, um... I actually got the anime Blu-ray for uh, Atelier Rise, or no, Atelier Esca and Lanchi, and then a Blu-ray for La Corda d'Oro. Um, those are both Koei Tecmo IPs, so of course I had to get them. But uh, Sentai Filmworks does flash sales quite frequently, and I was able to pick up Gakuen Basara on Blu-ray. It's still sealed. Um, I actually think this is on high dive, so I might be able to keep it sealed. Uh, but definitely going to be watching this at some point. Uh, it's just Samurai High School. <laughs> you can pierce the walls with KG and explore the rest of the map. What? Yeah, um, I think I got this one for $15. It's usually like, I don't know, 50 bucks maybe? It is, I'm fairly certain it's on High Dive. If it's not, High Dive is only like 5 bucks a month. Uh, I highly recommend getting High Dive. No pun intended. Uh, also not sponsored. I've never been sponsored, so... Oh well. But High Dive, I would absolutely sell my soul to. <laughs> um... You can also watch the dub of Oshinoko on there, which is, like, peak. Absolute peak. So good. Oh, it's a glitch. I had no idea there's Gaku and Basara. I'm gonna be going to visiting a friend and watching the Basara anime series. Oh, nice. Yeah, like, uh, one of the things I was planning on doing was maybe reviewing the anime. The only thing is, reviewing shows and movies is kind of a an iffy thing if uh, YouTube will allow the footage of it. You know what? I'm gonna probably just start buying shit, cause <clears throat> I want to get all of the costumes. Like, that's just who I am. I am a costume guy. I think the ma manga of Gakuen Basara was better. Oh, I don't know how uh, the manga of Gakuen is. But the manga for Sengoku Basara is pretty good. <laughs> oh, I love these streams where it's just me showing shit off. I need the rest of it. I've not seen anyone sell any of Sengoku Basara. 
I picked this up at Indigo like years ago and I haven't seen anything about it or any uh, any other shops selling it which is super disappointing check online I haven't checked online <laughs> I like finding my shit out in the wild I'm weird like that um I am going to take a quick break quick bathroom break we will be back uh, to play through a little bit more of KG's story. So be right back. And we're back! Sengu Boss the Three Utke, I definitely gotta play more of that one day. I need to import that. Um, I only have... As far as importing goes, I only have the HD collection for Sumoragi Anniversary Edition and... Um, Sanada Yuki Murenen. Those are the only three Basara imports that I own. I do own Devil Kings and Samurai Heroes, obviously. The mangas are better than the animes. That, that tends to be the thing. Um, I started reading Horimiya, and I can confirm... The manga for that is way better. Uh, I can also confirm the webcomic is way better than the manga. Has a ton of extra modes? Okay. I'll have to get it some point. Um, one of the main reasons why I'm playing this, uh, and this I've sought after this so much, is because it's on PS4. Um... You know, it's just... PS4 runs so much better. I hate buying stuff for the uh, seventh generation of consoles, I think it is. Oh, shoot. I didn't change my weapons. But yeah, the PS3 and the, 
The 360 a little less, but like the PS3 has some real issues with uh, performance. I find the P the 360 uh, at least runs a little bit better. <laughs> uh, now that I know he's Sakon and not Shikonosuke, um, with him saying Sakon. I recognize the fact that he says Sakon. Like, there are some phrases and words that I'll uh, be able to pull out just because it's like, oh, I've heard this in anime or video games. It's ironic how in Segubasa 3 manga start the Akechi decapitating Nobunaga. Oh, dang. Maybe I should pay attention. At least until I take out Sakon and then... Did he just say Sumimasen? <laughs> oh, hello, Hanbei. I wonder what Capcom would do making uh, Sengoku Basara now if uh, if they did, because um, the director or whatever is no longer with Capcom. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, a lot of these characters use modern Japanese phrases. I don't know, like, is Chotomate Kudasai a <laughs> Sengoku era phrase? Damn. That combo with Nobunaga was just so good. Combos are definitely a lot more fun to pull off in the Basara series. Though I would still say, like, overall, I prefer uh, Dynasty Warriors to Basara. And it's just because, like, that familiarity is kind of there, but also I'm able to understand everything because it's in English. And not only that, like, at least with what I've uh, experienced with uh, Basara 3, the story isn't up to snuff with uh, 
Samurai Warriors. Can't remember exactly, but I believe holding the triangle button or any button you press causes him to summon his devil trigger. Stand. Okay. I'll give it a try once I transform back. Which, I'll just do this. Oh, holding square just does essentially a triangle move. And triangle, holding that down, just shoots out a bigger blast. I think it's one of these. Yeah, this one. I used to love doing this in... Uh, Boss of the three. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's one game that I should play for the Tuesday's streams is Devil May Cry. Because, like, I have finished one and three. I have never finished four. I've never finished two. I've never finished DMC. I just barely started 5, because I didn't want to play through that without finishing the rest of the games in the series. And I would love to restart playing through them. I feel like that would be one of the, the longer streams, though. Um, partly because it's been a while since I've played Devil May Cry. Level up. I do love the fact that I have so much to play through with this game. Okay. Well, I own them all, except for DMC now on uh, PS4. Like, I have so many games to play through. I have so many games to play through. I definitely have a lot to work with for the Tuesday streams, so... Part of me does want to play through them in uh, chronological order, so like, uh, 3, 1, 2, 4, 5, I think is how it does, it works. But then another one, another part of me wants to play through it uh, in release order, so 1, 2, 3, etc. Just because, like, if you play it 1, 2, 3, uh, the gameplay mechanics make more sense. Going from 3 to 1 is a bit of a task. And 
I did have uh, Devil May Cry HD collection on PS3, but I ended up getting it on PS4, partly because of performance and also resolution. Oh, there's a guy down this way now. Whoopsie. Oh, what's... Oh, this is a cannon. Where does this take me? Oh, over to the other side? God damn it. That's not where I want it to be. I want to go take out this officer over here. I'll be playing it on console. 3124. Okay, yeah, I was right. But yeah, I own it on uh, PS4. And then I have um, Devil May Cry 5 on PS5. I don't have a whole lot on PC, except for, um, like, Musou games and um, indie games. A couple of 6th and 7th generation games as well, because obviously they're going to look and run better on um, PC. There's a mod for PC that makes DMC3 like the Switch version before the Switch did it. All the weapons and style switching and multiplayer and same mod affects DMC1 for faster weapon switch. Okay. I mean, I would want to experience them in their classic um, iterations with all just with all the added content that the HD versions would bring. Because I played them in their original form back in the day. Back on PS2. And I do want to, like, collect those games again. Because I have such a... such a nostalgia for them. I used to have at least Devil May Cry 1 and 3 on PS2, and then I sold them. Probably to buy other games. And I imagine I'll get them again someday. Oh, I can't cross there? I'm gonna guess, uh... Once I take over all of the areas... Oh, there... This guy. Come on, Daddy wants red. Damn it. Well, I'll try to run. Oh. Come on, I just want to. I'll just do one of these here. True, true experience them normally first. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about mods as well, is like, I'd rather experience the game the way it's intended to first, and then I'll go and experience some mods. There are definitely mods that are better for the initial experience, like performance mods and stuff like that, graphical mods, things that don't necessarily impact the uh, integrity of the developer's experience that they wanted to provide to players. And then there are mods that 
you know, they do make improvements while others are there for stupidity, like changing all of the dragons in Skyrim to Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> Who's your favorite character to control so far in Sengoku Basada 4? Uh, I haven't had an opportunity to experience them all, but so far I would say probably Naotora. She was a lot of fun. I definitely need to play through more Mega Man games. I've only ever played through, um... Oh, uh, what was the one on PSP? The Mega Man X game that was essentially a remake of the first Mega Man X. Just in 3D. Oh, weird. Zack also had that happen where um, some of his messages were coming up uh, as retracted on YouTube, but he didn't actually retract them. I know he was trying to say something about boobs, so were you trying to say something about boobs? Because I'm interested. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, red. Or gold. I would have taken gold. Oh, come on. It's disappointing that uh, Matsum uh, Musashi is not playable in this game. Because I think uh, Basara 2 was the only one that he was actually playable in. What happens when you add someone and include an emoji? Oh. That's weird. Maybe YouTube thinks it's like a spam thing, so it's like, well, we're gonna block this no matter what. Weird. Let's switch back to KG. Pretty sure I've seen a horse in another stage before.
maybe just adding someone and doing that is uh, a YouTube no-no. I don't know. It's not something I told YouTube to block. I don't even think I have any blocked words. I probably should block a couple that are like, you know, definite things that shouldn't be said. I'm gonna guess once I get this last base taken care of, the water goes up, or goes down, I guess. Overwriting the text. Huh. Excuse me. I should probably just to aim for the, uh, the base captain. was originally meant to Nico X3 is just another type of emoji okay <laughs> whoop don't want to do that So water goes down now? Yep. Alright, well, I guess I have to play through Masamune's story again, thinking that I didn't actually play through the story. But that's okay. This game is fun, so I'm, I'm okay with playing more of it. And this is exactly what I wanted when I played, uh, or when I bought Sanada Yukimuraden, was the fact that I wanted to be able to play this much of a game. Oh shit. I thought I would get there early enough with uh, an attack. There we go. We made it through. Okay. Yeah, Sanada Yukimoto then is definitely like one of those games that only mega fans of 
Sengoku Basada would I recommend it to? Because at least with it, you get uh, you get to play as four new move sets with Yukimura, Masamune, um, Nobuyuki, and Masayuki. I wouldn't call it a reboot. I would call it a spin-off cuz um it's so short. You can tell that it's meant to be a spin-off more than a a full game. I think uh I think I heard that it was released as a um Oh jeez. I think I heard that it was released as a uh like a budget title almost. There we go. God, it would be nice to know what's going on. そしてお前を遠ざけたことを謝ったとは思わぬ。知ってます。我らは共に正しかった。ただそれだけだったの。うん。Jeez. <笑> probably where I'm going to call the stream. Oh my god. I am definitely feeling it. <laughs> oh, I am ready for bed. <laughs> but this was a lot of fun. I can't wait to play more of this. It's going to be on the next poll, so if you want to see more, go vote. Uh, that poll will go up either today or tomorrow. It depends on when I get around to it. I am probably going to go straight to bed after this. I am tired. But yeah, this was a lot of fun. I can't wait until uh, Tuesday, hopefully. Uh, some of you will show up for Xenoblade Chronicles X. It'll be episode 4, so I'll be playing more of it. Maybe then I'll get my skill. Maybe someday I'll get my skill. <laughs> Anyways. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining. Don't forget to join the Discord server where you can keep the conversation going and uh, just join in on all the chats that happen on a daily basis. Um, join the Patreon, where you can support this channel, and uh, every donation goes towards buying games like this. This was bought thanks to uh, the money that I receive on Patreon. Um, but with all that being said, I will see you all in the next stream.